India says nobody can stop its army patrolling the disputed border with China. The defense minister has been speaking in parliament after weeks of tensions in Ladakh. Tensions have been high along the Himalayan border for weeks. Both sides accusing each other of provocation. Diplomatic and military channels have been done in the same way. इस प्रकार की गतिविधियां यथा यथा स्थिति को यानी स्टेटस को को एक तरफा बदलने का प्रयास है और यह भी साफ कर दिया कि ये प्रयास हमें किसी भी सूरत में सभापति महोदय मंजूर नहीं है यह दो कुछ शब्दों में यह चाइना को बता दिया गया है और आने वाले समय में भी सरकार इस उद्देश्य के प्रति पूरी तरह से प्रतिबद्ध रहेगी देश हित में हमें कितना ही बड़ा और कितना ही कड़ा कदम उठाना पड़े सभापति महोदय हम पीछे नहीं हटेंगे फॉर मोर लेट्स कनेक्ट विद रिबेका बुंदन इन मुंबई रिबेका टेल अस मोर अबाउट द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर्स मैसेज Mr. Rajnath Singh's message was quite similar to the address that he delivered on Tuesday in the lower house of parliament. He really delivered some strong words uh, talking about uh, India not backing down about um being prepared uh, to take contingencies and so on being prepared for all situations. But at the same time he tempered this message uh, by saying that India does remain committed to a peaceful resolution of the the border dispute, which is something that Echoes what we've seen, for example, last week when the two foreign ministers met in Moscow. They talked about the need to de-escalate, um, about the fact that the current situation wasn't in either side, either in, in uh, neither side's interests. Um, but, however, there were also strong words of warning at the same time. This time, what was different compared to Tuesday, though, was that the opposition was given an opportunity to speak. There was actually a walkout on Tuesday when uh, they weren't given that opportunity. for discussion but members did uh, express solidarity uh, the opposition congress also asked about uh, any limitations on patrols in that area and that's when uh, mr singh responded that no force could stop india's uh, troops uh, from patrolling the border so again uh, strong words but despite uh, these repeated military talks that have taken uh, taken place over the the past few months despite those uh, that meeting of the foreign minister Uh, India continuously saying that um, it wants a peaceful resolution China has also said the same thing both sides are blaming each other India again in the defense minister's speech was saying that uh, w- that China uh, was to blame for this situation that they had violated agreements but this is something that China has denied and China is accusing India of this so it is an ongoing situation uh, this uh, dispute remains uh, unresolved of course it's a matter that goes back decades but it's escalated in recent months with those uh, 20 indian troops uh, being killed in those brutal clashes in june last week uh, reports um, and suggestions uh, both sides again accusing each other of firing at the border as well so it is an ongoing issue mr singh uh, also uh, was not too prepared to reveal too many details about the situation on the ground saying that it was uh, sensitive uh, operational issues that were at stake and so on so um very much so an an ongoing situation and again the two sides continuing uh, to to accuse each other of of wrongdoing in, in at, at the border right thanks for getting us up to speed with the latest rebecca bunden speaking to us from mumbai